Hi, in this video I'd like to discuss another phenomenon that we ex uh, experience and observe during pregnancy that is related to miscarriage. Now, in this uh, video we'd like to discuss intrauterine fetal demise. So if the name sounds daunting, it's very similar to a miscarriage but it happens at a specific time by specific reasons. So intrauterine fetal demise simply means that the baby shows no signs of life but is still uh, situated within the uterus, within the mother's body. It has not yet been expelled. And it also happens uh, during specific uh, weeks of the pregnancy. So characteristic, characteristically, we are looking at week 20 onwards. These, are, these fetal demise that occur within week 20 onwards, then only we are called, classify them as fetal demise. For those that happen early during the pregnancy, those are known as miscarriages or pregnancy losses. So uh, intrauterine fetal demise, the definition means that the pregnancy has developed significantly, which means that it's no longer an embryo, it's now a fetus that is, has a fully formed heart, limbs and organs but it's still maturing, it's not all the way developed but then due to specific reasons it has experienced uh, fetal death so what does fetal demise mean specifically is that this baby shows no signs of life and this can mean many things first of all, there is no heartbeat anymore we don't see the fetus moving around anymore this is something that we do observe during ultrasound fetus should be active during week 20 onwards but if there's no activity this is a potential sign of fetal demise another thing that we also uh, look at is that uh, when the baby is passing out of the mother's uh, uterus and cervix there is no signs of life as well there's no breathing the umbilical cord is not pulsing these are all signs that the doctor can confirm that it is in fact an intrauterine fetal demise. This fetal death has taken place inside the uterus. So there can be a number of causes for fetal demise and uh, the most prominent ones are potential infections and uh, certain immunological factors, uh, malnourishment and uh, other factors. Here at Anti Hospital what we observe to be the most common cause is first of all the immunological factor which is the presence of anti-embryonic antibodies causing this fetal demise another one is uh, a lack of progesterone or insufficient level of progesterone causing this fetal demise and then there are also certain cases where chromosomal abnormality arise during that stage of pregnancy causing this uh, fetal demise these fetal demises can be prevented if you do have a history to entirely prevent the fetal demise, we do need to go for thorough diagnosis here at the hospital to figure out what exactly are the causes that are present within the mother and figure out which we can treat effectively, which are unpreventable and then uh, administer the appropriate managements. So women who have a history of uh, these miscarriages, these fetal demises, do not worry because it actually can be prevented. You do not have to carry on this fear, this trauma onto your next pregnancy so long as you receive treatment before your next pregnancy. Anti Hospital has specialized in the prevention of miscarriages and fetal demise alike by accurately identifying what is the cause of your previous fetal demises and also your previous miscarriages. Both of these are correlated. As long as we identify what is the underlying cause, we can prevent them effectively up to a success rate of 95%. This is what we tell our patients and this is also what our results state so that we want these uh, mothers to actually enjoy a smooth, healthy pregnancy because it is entirely possible. Uh, these treatments that we offer at the hospital also come with a full refund guarantee so that these mothers will be assured so that they do not carry anxiety and fear anymore because our success rates are tremendous and we can guarantee that you have another successful pregnancy. So do get in touch with us if you'd like to find out more about fetal demise, especially if you have a history and interested in getting on to a next pregnancy journey. You need to seek specialist 
treatment by a specialist provider like Atta Hospital that actually can guarantee results.